remote play from PS5 is something that I wanted to do on the ROG Ally ever since I got it. But unfortunately, the remote play application that Sony has doesn't allow you to use the regular controllers from the ROG Ally. But the good thing is that there is a third party application which allows you to do this and it's fairly easy to use and install. So in today's video, I will show you how to enable this functionality on the PS5 using a remote party application called Chucky. So let's switch to the desktop view and we'll go ahead and install this application. Okay, so we now have the ROG Ally hooked to a monitor and the mouse and keyboard because this will easy up a bit the process. But uh, the installation is fairly easy. You only have to download Chucky and don't worry, I'll put every link down in the description of this video. But once you click on this link, you'll see that you have here Chucky Win64. This is basically the version that we will be using today. So you simply click on it, then it will download the version that we need for the ROG Ally. If we open the file location, then all you have to do is to extract this. And there you go. Now we have Chucky right over here. In order to open it, you need to run this executable Chucky file. And don't worry about creating any shortcuts for it because we will add it later on to the armory crate. But for now, simply open Chucky executable. You may get this error that Windows is recognizing this as a virus, but I'll click on run anyway. But you do need to realize that there are some risks, very small ones, whenever you are installing some third party applications on Windows, but you probably already know about this. So you do this on your own risk, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, we click on run anyway, and then we allow access. All right, so now that we open Chucky, you will see that we already have my PS5 recognized over here. That's because it's present on the same network. So as long as you have the PS5 and the ROG Ally on the same network, then you will see the device right over here. So that's perfect. Now, if you double click on it, we will be asked about two things over here. One is the PSN account, but it's in base 64. So basically you'll have to put a hash value of that PSN account uh, in this field and then a pin. It's something that you will get from your PS5 console and we will show you that in a minute. But before that, we need to add the PSN account and I've added this link as well in the description. Basically, you have this site where you simply put your PSN account and don't worry, this is just the name, you don't have to log in or anything. And then you submit and then you'll have two information. This is for PS Play and this encoded one is for Chucky. So we simply copy this value and then we go back to Chucky, we paste that information over here. And now we only have to add the pin from the PS5. So now we need to move over to the PS5 and continue from there. Okay, now we are on the PS5 and you have to go to settings and under system and you have the remote play option over here. First of all, you have to get this feature enabled. So click on enable remote play if it's not already on. And then under link device, you will get a code. This is available for 300 seconds. And all you have to do is put this number over here into the Chucky application and together with your PSN account, that will be everything that you will need in order to have remote play using Chucky application. And that we have everything that we need, we simply click on register and that should be it. And there you have it, now we have a successful message that Chucky has been successfully configured and we hit OK. And if we click on this icon over here, you will see that we are finally connected to our PS5. And if we take the ROG Ally over here, as you can see, everything works. Well, the thing is that the official remote play application also works in the menu, but not in the games. So in the menu, everything works, but let's open also a game and see if we have any issues. We have Spider-Man over here and there you have it. We are now able to do remote play on the ROG Ally. And this works even with an external monitor. I can also do full screen with it. I can connect a controller. So everything pretty much works. Well, there are some small exceptions because we don't have a DualSense controller in this moment and we do have a couple of other buttons that are not enabled on this one. So what we can do if we close this application, first of all, we will get this message if we want to go into sleep mode. This is a really important aspect because if the console is fully turned off, then you will not be able to wake it up using remote play. And what I want to show you are some key aspects what you need to configure into the settings over here. All right, first thing first, there are some configuration over here. First of all, it's related to FPS. And the second one is related to the resolution. 
If you have a PS5 or a PS4 Pro, it is recommended that you use a 1080p, but that also depends a lot on your internet connectivity. So if you know that you have a strong internet connection, then go ahead and enable that one. And the same for FPS. For codec, there are some cases where H.265 doesn't really work that well and I had this issue before so I had to switch between those two so if you do have any problems make sure to use the other option instead and another important aspect is that as you can see over here we have some mappings of the buttons and the PS button is mapped to escape and the touchpad is mapped to T. These are key buttons that are missing from the ROG Ally because we are not using a DualSense controller but we can map these buttons if we really need to. So in order to do this we can go to Armory Crate then under Settings, Configure, then in Gamepad Mode. Keep in mind that you can do this individually for each application but I will just do this for every game under Gamepad Mode because I don't see an impact at this for now. Once we're over here, I will uh, click on LB or RB because we want to go to the back buttons. I will go ahead and map the M1 button to the escape key and the M2 button to the T key. So once we click on M1, then I'll go with primary button, keyboard, and I will click on escape. And there we go. And I will do the same for M2, keyboard, and I will click on T. And that should be it. Now, before we open Chucky once again, Keep in mind that you can also add the application here in Armory Crate. So if we click on add, you will be able to find Chucky executable over here. Select it and click on done. And now we have it here in Armory Crate. Now we go back to Chucky and open the PS5 again. So the game works really well. And let's test out the back buttons and let's turn this ally over here. So we have the M1 and M2 buttons. So if we press on M1, Remember that we mapped this to the PS button. So if we press it, there you go. It acts as the regular PS button on the DualSense controller. And if we press M2, this should be acting as the touchpad on the DualSense controller. And there you go. In Spider-Man, this enables the map. So both buttons work great. And you now have a full experience using all the controls that you will regularly get on the DualSense controller. Now, if I unplug this from the monitor, so this is the type of screen that you would regularly get once you open Chucky. So you still have the bar on top and on the bottom, but if you want to go full screen, you simply double tap on the screen and that is it. As you can see, now I'm doing full remote play and I have no issues with it. Sometimes depending on the type of connectivity that you have, you may get a bit of stutter, but if your connectivity is decent enough, then you will not have any issues with it. So this is a pretty good experience. I would have preferred to use the first party application from Sony, so the remote play one, but unfortunately, that one doesn't allow you to play using the ROG Ally controllers. But the experience using Chucky is really good. It's pretty easy to install, as you can see. And you will get the full experience as you would normally get with the remote application from Sony. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions related to this process. And I'll make sure to answer to each and one of you. And please consider subscribing if you find this information useful. And a simple like helps out this channel a lot more than you think. That's it for now. This is the Tekken Rebel and I'll catch you in the next video.